always an honor to be on the premier train. So, like always, if you're new to the train or new to my channel and you want one of my channel stickers, just blast me on an email right up here. I'll be happy to get one out to you. I love connecting with people in the community. It's just a great time to see all these people who stack, collect, and get together and have a good time week after week here on the Premier Train. So I have a couple different things here. We're going to go through this in a little bit. But my neighbor, my neighbor just got back from a trip to Ghana, uh, his home country. He's a great guy, great family. And he knows that I collect coins. So he brought me back some coins from Ghana. And they are pretty cool. I mean, look at, look at the designs on these. I guess this is a 50 cent piece. And it's got a beautiful design on the back. He knows that I love coins. And he brought me back some coinage. He also brought me back a, a couple pieces of paper money. I have that in my uh, my album already. Here's another one, 2022. This is like a bimetal coin. Pretty cool. It's got the weights and measures on the back. Happy to have these in my collection. Here's a 10 cent uh, euro, I guess. I think it is. Cool little coin. Got the reeded edge. All common coins. But pretty happy to have them in my collection that he thought about me while he was down in Ghana to bring me back some change. Well... We're in the fall season here, and a lot of people like to have um, wrap up the year, have garage sales and stuff. And I recently went to a garage sale, and I picked up a couple things. First, I was looking around on this woman's table, and she had this sitting on her table. And, you know, that was a no-brainer. I scoffed that right up, and I said, I'll take it. It's a belt buckle. Very cool. It says uh, copyright 1986 or 88. What does that say there? Number 332. And what else does it say? I'm going to have to put this underneath the scope to actually see it. It's from the American Buckle Company. Get you, get you a shot up there. American Buckle Company, copyright 1988, number 332. So I thought that was pretty cool. I had to grab it. I wonder if you could see any dates. 1930, 20, 28. Very cool. Definitely an interesting piece. I'm not going to use it as a belt buckle. It'll just go in my collection. I don't wear a belt. So, but she also had some foreign coins too. And... I grabbed these also. They're not real old, but they're big. You know, these are, let's see what I can compare it to here. Compare it to a, a walker. You know, so they're, they're about the size of a silver dollar. 1965. Churchill. And there was a few of them. She had a couple of them in these cases. They're not silver, but they're cool. Got them for a buck a piece. And I just had to have them. 
So we got three Churchills. Then we had these other cool looking coins. They're all the same size. This is uh, Elizabeth II, 1977. Beautiful horse. Just don't see these big foreign silvers anymore. Another Elizabeth II. Look at the design on the back of that one. Beautiful. And to keep on the foreign theme, uh, another neighbor of mine, a while ago, her husband passed away and he had a small collection of old coins. And she wanted to know what they were worth. So I sat down with her, brought out my books, and I told her everything she was worth, what they were worth. And she asked me if I wanted to purchase them because she had no desire of keeping them. So I said, yeah, I'd purchase them. And, and I bought the, um, these were 90% silver coins. There were some silver dollars, half dollars, quarters. Um, so I purchased them. And about a week later, she came to my house and she said that she had um, this little container of foreign coins. Would I like to have them? And I said, yeah, I would love to have them. Um, you know, I'm, I'm mostly into U U.S. coins, but foreign coins, I love the designs and the history about them. So I said, I would love to have them. She just gave me this whole container of foreign coins. And I went through them all. And these are the silver ones that I found that were in there. I guess they call these little, little fish scales. Little five cent. Um, we'll, we'll put it on the scope so you can take a look at it little five cent canada 1905 and these things are tiny we'll go through a couple of them so you can take a look here's a 1912 These are about the size of a, a, a rosy dime, but much, much thinner. Bolivar. This one's silver, too. That's from 1929. You can see 1.250. So pretty cool that there was some silver in this. Not much. There's 1910. What we got here? Very cool design. Five Fenning from 1901. So we got some old coins in here. But, you know, the silver, I like the silver. But there are some other coins in here that are just, that'll like blow you away, man. Look at the design on that. Big building. Old copper. Old copper. Can I pull a date off of that? 1890. 1890 off of that. But look at these big copper coins. Two, two and a half cent, 1945. Never even seen one of those before. There's the eagle and the snake. Got a 1970, 20 centavos. Lots of these big copper coins. There's another one, 20 centavos, 1943. But then we got these other coins. This is not silver. Queen Elizabeth II, from 19, what is that? What is that? 
What year is that? 1960. 1960. Another big copper. 10 centissimo. 1894. Damn, that's old. 1894. But then we got some crazy ones like this square one here. 25 cents. 1921. That's too cool. Awesome stuff. 25 ore from Denmark. We've got a date on that, 1957. There's another one. New Pence, 10. The lion on it. Queen Elizabeth, 1975. What is this? This looks like some kind of T Senial. T Senial. I have no idea what that is. April 26th to December 1st, 1907, Norfolk, Virginia. And it's called the Tercennial. Very cool. I got to show you this because it's got, this one's got a bunch of ships on it and it says Tercennial. Look at that. 1907, U.S. Battleship of Virginia. Very cool. That's a beautiful coin right there. Let's see what this one is. Mexicanos. What kind of date we got on this one? 1967. 20. So yeah, there's some great coins in here. It's going to take me a while to go through all this stuff. I don't even know where that's from. Wow. Yeah, lots of foreign stuff. So I'm wondering if, you know, her husband did a lot of traveling, 1945. Wonder if that's over twelve and a half cent centimos. Twelve and a half. That's cool. Doesn't sound like silver. But I've never had one of them before. This one might be silver. Ten ten fenning. Kind of date we got on that. 1876. Wow. 1876. I would imagine that that's probably silver. Another big copper, 1945. pretty cool guys so i'm not gonna have time to go through all this stuff so somebody drop the link to the next person down in the chat and we're gonna keep this train rolling i hope you enjoyed this little foreign coins this is will from will's treasures and i will catch you on the next video